What is going on guys, Ungit here and today we will be learning how to stop your controller from controlling both your party and your game in remote play. So firstly, let's discuss the problem. So when you start up your remote play and connect your controller via Bluetooth or USB, everything is fine. You're able to move through your PlayStation screen, you can move to your party, join, whatever you would be able to do on your PlayStation, you would be able to do here. But where the problem starts to occur is when you start up a game. The problem is whatever you do in your game will also affect your remote play. An example of this is here. So I'll load into Warzone and I'm about to start up a solos game. And as you can see, whatever I'm doing on my controller will also affect my remote play. So I've loaded into a Souls game and I'm doing a lot of stuff on my remote play that I'm not even aware about. I'm changing my loadout and everything else going wrong on my remote play. And I've loaded into a solo game again and I've somehow loaded into Fall Guys on my other screen. So this is a pretty big problem and I'll be showing you how to fix it. So a simple way to fix this is by using two controllers. So what you're going to want to do is open up your remote play on your PC and then connect to your desired PlayStation. Once you've connected, what you're going to do is connect your first controller either through Bluetooth or USB. I suggest USB. Once you've done that, you're going to add your second controller via Bluetooth. So how you do that is by holding the PlayStation and share button down and waiting for the flash. Then go over to settings and Bluetooth, add a device, and wait for the wireless controller to come up. Select it and select done. So if you want to use your controller from PlayStation, you have to use software such as DS4 Windows to make sure your controller can be used on games as a PS4 or PS5 controller. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll show a video as well. After you've done that, you're going to load up whatever game you'd like to play and just wait for it to load up. And an important note is that you should connect your controllers before you load up the game because if you don't, it won't work. So once you've loaded into your game, you will see that the second controller that you connected via Bluetooth will be able to control everything on your game. Anything that you do in your game will not affect your remote play and you can play without messing up anything. So here's a quick recap of what we just done. So here are the two controllers that we're using. One with the USB is the one that controls the remote play and will not affect the game that you're playing. And the second remote that you are using will be used for the game and anything that you do on that remote will not affect the remote play. So some troubleshooting tips are if you have any controllers connected to your PC or computer before doing this method, make sure to disconnect all your controllers to make sure that your computer doesn't get confused and also make sure to use a software such as ds4 windows or input mapper to make sure your computer recognizes the controller so this is how you stop your controller from controlling both your game and your remote play if you have any more inquiries you can contact me through my social media or on the discord server and as always thank you and catch you next time